is still considered to be on the run, if you're happy cruising at 30. It was exciting while it lasted, I guess. Am I allowed to think that? Exciting. Perhaps that isn't even the right word. Vivifying. Is that even a word? Vivifying. <laughs> Words don't matter. It's the feeling. Living each moment not knowing what the next might bring. I haven't felt like that since... The last time I took this road north. Back when the boy racer and me was still treating this road like a drag strip. Everything in the city behind me. And getting out of it as a rush hour. Four lanes of traffic. Two lanes moving slow. So I avoid it. Maybe it's not the rush hour that stopped me driving this road. Do you think the nurses will laugh at the plasters I applied? Do you think they'll notice? The kid is safe now. That's all that matters. His parents will pick him up, the police will do their interviews, file their reports. There'll be news coverage for no more than a week, missing child found will take over the headlines. Only for the story to soon fade into obscurity. And that'll be that. That'll be that. That can't be them. Couldn't have. He said he wouldn't. I never even gave him my name. Certainly not my full name. Maybe the hospital saw me drop him off. Saw my number plate. Either way, they'll have cameras. Fuck. If they're not after me now, no doubt it'll be later. I should have left him. Not even gotten involved. Why, out of everything, did I choose that kid to take matters into my own hands? His life should have been left to his. Now he's in hospital. Bruises and scars all over his face and body. And I'm the last known point of contact. He was a missing boy, would still be missing, and I'm going to take the fall for it. Because he didn't want to go back. school's old caretaker. keep himself to himself. Very rarely spoke to any of us. But he'd noticed when I'd come into school with fresh bruises. I followed the eyes of some of my teachers, the first shake in their voice, the clearing of their throat. They'd pretend not to notice. But him, he pointed the way to the nurse every time. Many of them were in very similar places to the cuts and bruises of that boy. God only knows the power his parents will have over me. They'll be in the hospital for the cameras, shed their fake tears, but when the director shouts cut, they'll leave the kid, only caring to pick him up when the doctor obliges. I got to know Jacob for 18 hours. I found him early in the morning, outside my office window, dried blood stained to his face. It took 18 hours for him to be okay with going to the hospital, as he knew he'd no longer be missing. He'd no longer be safe.
Thank you.